Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I went ahead and did a bold eye with a bold lip. I really thought that the gold glitter on the eyelid would definitely complement the red lip really, really nicely. I love how red looks on everyone, so I really wanted to incorporate a red look for Valentine's Day, of course. I really hope you guys like this look. If you want to see how I got this really pretty brown smoky eye look with gold glitter and the bold red lip, then just keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to take my Smashbox Primerizer. I used this in my last video. This is basically the primer that I always use. It just feels so good on the skin. And when I say this primer is a good primer, like I definitely would recommend this to anyone. It feels that good on the skin, especially now because it's winter. My skin has been a lot more dry. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and use my Smashbox Primer Water. I really like this too. It just adds a little bit more of hydration. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over my face. Next, the foundation that I'm going to be going in with today is the Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation, the Super Stay Full Coverage one. I used this one in my last video as well. This is probably my everyday foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my Beauty Blender. Just two pumps would be perfect. I blended it down my neck first just because you know it's not my color. I feel like one day I'm gonna get a comment that says your foundation doesn't match your neck and I'm just gonna be like I think the foundation looks good it's even on the skin, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but in person, it kind of has like a satin finish. It just has like this like nice like sheer glow over to it. Next is concealer. So what I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio. This concealer is amazing. This one is definitely full coverage. I would say that the Tarte Shape Tape one does have a little bit more coverage. You just want to look for something affordable that is gonna still do the job as concealing your under eyes, and I definitely would recommend this concealer. So I'm just gonna... Oops. I was just gonna apply it like under my eyes using the two, but I don't want it to like burst like that. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and use my ring finger and apply it underneath my eyes, on my chin, the bridge of my nose, and on the center of my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and I'm going to blend all that out. Since it's not my color, um, it is a little bit dark even though my foundation is a little bit darker than my skin tone. So I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand, which is a little bit lighter because since it is a little bit too dark, I go in with the lighter Shape Tape one just because it's going to give me the same full coverage, but it's just going to give me that lighter effect that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that out. I feel like I pounce so hard. Oopsies. Break up with your girlfriend. I lost my, con my eye contact. Ugh. I love the coverage of this foundation and these concealers. It literally looks so flawless on the skin. So for setting the under eye look and setting all the places we had put concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Banana Baking Powder by Revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and place that under my eyes. I'm going to bake just a little bit just because since this is a Valentine's Day look, I do want the makeup to be lasting all night long. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the under eyes. Actually, I'm just going to go in with my under eye setting powder brush. I'm gonna set my chin as well. And I'm gonna add actually a little bit extra on my chin and on my nose, just because like I said, I do notice that the foundation does rub off a little bit and it's nothing bad, but if it's gonna be a Valentine's Day look, I'd want my makeup to last all night. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and just extra set the places I put concealer. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. So then I'm just going to apply the bronzer right here. I really like bronzing on my forehead just because when you bronze on your forehead, it kind of gives the illusion that you have a smaller forehead. And since I did put foundation down my neck to match, I am going to go ahead and go in with the bronzer and just set that in place. 
So I'm actually gonna go into my Kat Von D contour palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I have hit pan, clearly. I'm gonna go in with that shade just because it is a little bit more darker than the NARS one. Um, I wanna add just a little bit more color to the skin. I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention the brushes. What I used to set the under eye was the E48 brush. What I used to bronze up my skin, I used the Morphe E4 brush. So to go in and lightly contour my nose, I'm gonna go in with Morphe's M513 brush. I'm actually gonna go in with the NARS, just because the NARS is a little bit lighter than the Kat Von D bronzer that I used. So I'm just gonna start right here where the, the little, the little, uh, what is that called? The inner part of my eye. I'm gonna start right there and I'm just gonna blend it down. Ow. So for blush, I do want it to complement the red lip that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this blush. This is the California blush. Plus it's Valentine's Day. You wanna, you know, bring out the rosiness in the cheeks. Yes, I went overboard on the blush. I added all of my brushes in the brush case that they're supposed to go into. This is the Morphe case. It's like a little box, so you can take it to like travel, you know, on the go. But you open it up, and all your brushes are literally right there, and it is flat. As you can see, you can just put it flat, you just close it up, and you're good to go. So for highlight, I'm going with the Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. It's the collab that they did with Jacqueline Hill. I didn't even mention the blush brush. Morphe M427. I'm so mad at myself, I keep on forgetting, I'm sorry. But for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Morphe Y14 brush. It's more of a precision brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that. Their formula for highlighters, beautiful. Job, well done. So I'm gonna add that right on top of the bronzer and blush. I'm gonna add some on my Cupid's bow, on my chin. So for eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. This is the Morphe E29. I have hiccups. Ah! Why? Note to self, get eyebrows threaded before next video. Okay, I think the eyebrows look good or to the best of my ability, I should say. So next is eyes. I know I wanna do a red lip, but I don't know what eye look I wanna do. I guess we're just gonna see what I come up with. For today's eyeshadow look, I'm going to use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I'm gonna go in with Orange Soda, which is, which, I'm gonna go in with Orange Soda, which is, I'm gonna put that all in my crease with my Morphe R40 brush. This is just a blending brush. So I'm just gonna blend this in the crease. This is gonna be the transition shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe M535 brush. And I'm gonna go in with, let me see. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, the one right below orange soda. And it's a burnt orange color. Burnt orange has a little bit more brown incorporated into the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that and a smaller blending brush and just blend that again where I put orange soda. It is looking pretty orangey right now, but I just wanted those to be the transition shades when I go in with the brown shadows. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit smaller of a blending brush, and this is the Morphe E17 brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Rustic. It is more a, of a warm tone brown. I would call it like a milk chocolate brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outer part of my eye. I am slightly blending it 
in with the orange. Doing the same thing over here. So I'm just packing it in the outer corner and just blending it inward. And I am putting it, like I said, over the center of the eyelid. I'm gonna go in really quickly with the Morphe M13 brush, going in with that shade Rustic, the brown one that I'm using right now. And I'm just gonna blend that a little bit more. All right, so that is all set in. Perfect. So I'm gonna take my Morphe R39 brush. It is a tapered blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade right here called Cypress Umber. This is perfect if you have the Modern Renaissance palette because it does have this shade in it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that shade right there and pack it on the outermost part of my eye. See, so I'm packing it just on the outermost part. When you put darker eyeshadows on the inner part of your eye, I feel like it kind of makes your eyes look a little bit smaller. So I kind of want the cat eye effect, so that's why I am only putting the darkest shade on the outer part of my eye. And just blending that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my Morphe E17 brush, and I'm just gonna blend out both sides of the eye so the colors really do blend seamlessly together. It looks really pretty. I just want you guys to see how it looks. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M13 brush, the blending brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade right here, the lighter like milk chocolate brown. It's called Rustic with on the Soft Glam palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with that very, very lightly. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend over everything that I have already put on my eye. So I think I do wanna put a little glitter on the center of the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Eyeshot or Liquid Glitter or something. This is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And it's just a gold glitter that I'm gonna add. And it has like a little applicator, so I'm just gonna use the applicator to apply it. I'm just gonna apply this glitter on the center of the eyelid. So I'm applying the most product closest to my lash line. And then whatever glitter that I have on the applicator, I'm just gonna blend it upward so it's kind of a gradient effect. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit just cause it is wet and I don't want the pigment to be moving around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on my left eye. I love this glitter so much. If you guys have a chance to buy it or if you see it in store, please do yourself a favor and buy it. Like it's so pretty. They have so many different colors too. I wish you could see, like in person. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna blend that burnt orange shade right here and I'm gonna blend that under my eye to give it that smoky effect. I'm just gonna connect it to the shadow that I put on the eyelid. I'm gonna connect it so it's all like one, like, you know? Blending that burnt orange under on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna wipe off the shadow that I had on the brush and I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe Y20 brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, that milk chocolate shade that we use. It's called Rustic. And I'm gonna go ahead and go under that and blend that in with the color we just added. I'm gonna also use the Morphe E43 brush. It looks like this. It's just a brush that can tightly pack eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that Cypress Umber shade right here, the darkest shade that we put on the outer part of the eye. I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna put it closest to my lower lash line as possible, just because I don't want my whole under eye to be this shade. And I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe Y20 brush and just blend that out. Okay, so next we are going to highlight the brow bone. So I'm just going to take the highlighter that I use, the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter, on a Morphe N212 brush. It's just a little tiny packing brush. I'm going to pack that on my arch of my brow. I'm going to apply it on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to apply this first shade right here on my brow bone and on the inner part of my eye. Just because that highlighter that I just used right now for the inner corner and the brow bone was a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go in with a shade a little bit lighter. And I'm going to blend those two together to make the perfect shade. 
So lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Morphe E17 brush again, and I'm just gonna blend between where I put the brow bone highlight and my actual shadow, just because I want it to all blend seamlessly together, so I don't want there to be a harsh line between the brow bone highlight and the eyeshadow that we did put. I swear, I always forget liner because I never put it on. But I'm just gonna line my lash line so there's no gap between your real eyelashes and the fake eyelashes that we're gonna be putting on. I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then I'm gonna put my lashes on really quickly. And then put the mascara on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go in with the Wet n Wild. This is just a black pencil liner. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit on my lower lash line as well. Ah. I'm really upset, I can't find my lash glue with the applicator. I have no idea where it's at. I literally used it like three days ago. I do have this one. It's still the duo glue. It's just not the one with the applicator. I prefer the one with the applicator because it's so much easier to apply on the lashes. But next I'm gonna be going with my lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. These are my favorite lashes. They're so beautiful and fluttery. They're really wispy too, which is why I'm gonna use them in today's video, just because I do want the glitter on the center of the lid to really pop. I feel like these lashes are gonna really complement this eye look just because since they are so wispy, that way the glitter is just gonna peek through and it's gonna look really, really pretty. I do apply a little bit more glue on the inner and outer part of the lash just because I find that that's where it lifts a little bit sometimes. Chanel, she got her fame in the last video and she's just over it, like she's over the fame. It's, it doesn't phase her. I love the days when my eyelashes cooperate with me. It looks like this eye is darker, but it's just the shadow. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go in with um, my MAC blush in the shade Copper Tone, just because I think this will complement the eye look a lot better. But since the eye look came out a little bit more orangey, like terracotta shade, I would say, I'm gonna go in with Copper Tone just to go ahead and tie everything together. I'm gonna go lightly. I think that, that complemented the eye look a little bit better. So next is lips. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Ever. I'm just gonna lightly line. So I have two red lip colors that I do have in mind. I'm gonna use this one, but I'm just gonna tell you guys about this one just in case. I use the Fenty Beauty Stena Lip Paint in the shade Censored. This is such a beautiful red shade. It has a blue undertone to it, and when red lipsticks have blue undertones, that means it brings up the whiteness of your teeth, which is why I absolutely love this lip paint. The thing is, it's a satin shade. I found um, with satin lip paints is that it does smear throughout the day a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but if you want your lipstick to not move, I would not recommend this, especially since it's such a bold color. I'm gonna tell you guys about this one. This is the I Love Sarai um, ColourPop collaboration. This is an ultra matte lipstick in the shade Arriba. I really, really like this shade. It's beautiful. The thing with this is this has orange undertones to it. When a red lipstick has orange undertones to it, it will bring out the yellowness and it will make your teeth look a little bit yellow. I really like this one though because it is an ultra matte lip. So if I am gonna be eating throughout the day, if I'm gonna be busy, like I'm not gonna have time to touch up, I would definitely recommend a matte lipstick. I'm just gonna be using the Fenty Beauty one for today. So I'm going with this. It's beautiful. It looks a little bit orange on camera, but in person, it's a very deep red. It's beautiful. She's so disrespectful. So this is the Fenty Beauty Stunna lip paint, and I love it. It looks a little bit orange on camera, but in person, it's a very deep red and I feel like it looks beautiful and it complements the eye look perfectly. I really wanted the red look to complement the chocolate colored tones that we had in the eye look and the gold glitter. And I feel like the gold glitter with the red lip, the eyeshadow with this lip, it looks absolutely stunning. Here is, actually no, we have to set our face. I'm gonna go ahead and take my rose water to set my face and then I'm gonna use the bottom end of my beauty blender and tap all of that in so everything blends seamlessly. All the extra powders that we have on our face is just gonna melt into the skin. 
and then I'm gonna take the bottom edge and just blend everything in. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. I love the way it turned out. I love the way the red lip looks. I love how it complements the gold glitter. I love how the skin looks too. It looks very glowy and bronzy. It's perfect for date night. I hope you guys like it. It turned out, honestly, it turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I was kind of aiming for something light brown, nothing too major, but a bold red lip. But I love how this is a bold eye and a bold lip and it will look good on everyone. I think it looks beautiful and I'm so happy with how it came out. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. That's a wrap. Did I forget anything? I mentioned all my brushes, right? I'll be alone on Valentine's Day since my boyfriend's 2,000 miles away. I hope I have no red lipstick. Like, comment, subscribe.